hate has made me fucked up. And sometimes I feel like I should have killed them both. Maybe me and my brother wouldn't be. Where we're at today, I've been fortunate enough to make positive change and to numb my pain and hate. I try to help people out. And my brother's all fucked up to where he doesn't even answer the phone. The only thing he wants to do is sit up in an apartment and do drugs and drink and he isolates. He, he's got a weaker mind than me. I've always been the aggressive one. I was always been the survivor in any situation and he's always been the weak link. Now in him being the weak link, he's made a lot of bad choices in life to where he don't trust nobody or nothing. He's not a bad kid, we just got short changed. <laughs> we didn't ask for this life. That's why it's hard for me to understand and comprehend that there is a God and he's gonna come back one day and he's gonna do this and do that. And there's just so much bullshit that happens in this world, it's hard to comprehend there's God. And, it, and you wonder why there's so much hate and why people do what they do. It seems like if you're not, you don't got a lot of money or the opportunity or chances to up the right upbringing, who's to say what is the right upbringing? You just, it's easy to go astray in this world. It's just, and it's sad. Because it don't take much these days to end up in a place like this and it's not pretty. And you get complacent. I've been living in these rooms so long, I don't know the other way. And I'm, I'm scared to leave this place because I don't want to do the wrong thing. Because I know I don't have another recovery in me. If I leave here and fuck up, I'm going to die. So it's like I'm putting all my, I'm betting everything on this last opportunity. And that's why I've stayed here so long. Because I'm not going to make no more wrong decisions. I can't do this no more. I'm not going to go back to prison. I'm not going to come back into a program. And just what keeps me going is hoping I can keep doing what I'm doing and, and make some, a change and difference and be a positive leader. That's the only way I can... I feel content with living. I mean, if it was up to me, I'd just die today. Because why even bother going through with, it's hard living, trying to help you out and then dealing with my own bullshit here. And then every once in a while, somebody wants to hear my story and subconsciously I forget it. Because there's people out there that I still wish I could just go back and go back to my old ways hurting or killing my mom, it's not gonna change nothing. But who's to say when it brings some type of satisfaction to my brother or something? And I'm just hoping that God's, God really has a purpose. Maybe there's a reason for all this. Well, maybe we'll all know this when I meet my maker, but it's just right now, it's just, I have a lot of mixed feelings and that's why I'm so callous about things and people and I got my own little bubble and I don't, I'll let you in if you earn it. And it don't take much for you not to get on my bad side because I can see through your bullshit. I can see through your bullshit quicker than you can. <laughs>